Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to see two things. One is that whenever you are pressing a single key, it automatically duplicates of number of keyboard entries without if you are typing like that. So like that issue actually happens whenever you are if you are just clicking on the search bar, it automatically insert a lot of keys continuously. So without if without if you are doing anything. So that is the one thing. So we are going to make a some of the steps for that. To solve that issue and the uh, next thing is that uh, so the second thing is that in case if you are uh, one of the keys uh, as became a hardware related issue means so that means that particular keys will not working and it is not related to the software related issue means so you can able to solve that issue and for example if you are using a windows key means so that windows key is actually uh, became a hardware related issue means you can again use that windows key using the other methods so these two things things we are going to see in this video well first of all for the random keyboard entries the issue i have actually faced is that in this laptop so some of the keyboard keys as not working and just see that so as you seen here so once i just press a single key it automatically presses a lot of keys so every time i'm pressing on the search bar it automatically inserting a lot of text so like when when i am press l it automatically press a lot of l's like that so in this video we are going to see how to sort out that so for example if in case if you are in the lock screen means you can use that uh, ease to access feature so once you go to that there is an option called the filter keys so you have to enable that feature so in case if you are after a uh, login means you can directly go to that option so you have to just go to the ease of access center and in this option so at the bottom you will see the option called uh, make a keyboard uh, easier to use you so you have to use this option make the keyboard easier to use just to open that and in case if the filter key is actually turned on means just to turn down means just turn off and click on the apply and in case if it is already turned off means just turn on and they click on the apply uh, and give the okay and after that also again uh, do that same process so just to go to the make the keyboard easier and again turn off the filter keys and click on the apply so once you actually do this so in case if your uh, keyboard is having some of the issues in one or two more keys uh, but other keys are working means that problem might be solved and uh, after that in case if you are just only a one key but it actually inserts a lot of duplicate uh, entry means you can prevent that using this option so this is the one type of issue and in case if your laptop or other keyboards like if you are using any uh, external keyboard also means for example if any specific key is not working means so we are now going to see how to uh, use that specific key without making any hardware related changes so for example now in this uh, uh, laptop so that is a problem is that so the backspace will not actually work so whenever i am uh, trying to so hitting this backspace it will never works so it will not erase the content but the delete key will actually erase the content but the delete key will actually de delete the content only the words after the cursor only so the words before the cursor so you have to use the backspace only but now i am using the delete key to delete the words before the cursor so this is the thing so i just transfer the function of the backspace to this delete key so i can able to use the delete key instead of the backspace key to delete some of the words so it will so this delete key will actually works like like a backspace so like this we can able to easily remap the key so this can be done very easily uh, and already microsoft has released a new tool called microsoft power toys so you, we can actually use this technique using that uh, tool only so for that you have to go to the microsoft store so in the microsoft store just search for power toys so this is the official version of the microsoft just uh, download the microsoft power toys and install that now the microsoft power toys settings will actually look like this only so at the starting you have to given the always run on administrator mode you have to turn on that option and after that here is an option called a keyboard manager so you have to enter that and here you will see the option enable keyboard manager you have to click on the enable option you have to turn on this uh, keyboard manager and after that beneath that option here is an option called keys so you have to click on the remap a key 
so after that a new window will be open so this is the remap keys so here there is an option called a key and then a mapped to so the key means you have to uh, type so the destination key for example for mine so the backspace is not working but instead of using backspace i am uh, given uh, so i am using the key called a delete key in the key section i have given the delete key so like that you have to given the the destination key so that means the destination key key means so for which key you are going to use in the future instead of that a problematic key so you have to given that key only and after that mapped to in this section you have to given the problematic key so currently i have given the backspace key so because so in this laptop this backspace is not working so i have given the mapped to section to the backspace and in the key section i have given the delete key so now you have uh, set that and you have to click the okay and click on the continue anyway and after that here is a preview so delete to backspace so like that you will add it actually shows so that means whenever you are pressing the delete key it actually functions as like a backspace key so during you of you are typing in notepad or in somewhere else so you are randomly typing something but when you are pressing backspace the backspace is actually currently not working so i have actually remapped the delete key to the backspace key so instead of pressing the backspace key so i can able to use this delete key so whenever i am pressing the delete key it actually works as like a backspace it uh, do the backspace function so that is the thing so like this in case if your laptop or a computer or any external keyboard if you are connected means you can easily solve the problem in case some of the a few keys is not working means for example some of the keys we uh, will not uh, never use so like some of the f keys for example in some of the keyboards you will get the two alt keys and two windows keys and two function keys so at that time if the left function key or windows key or alt key is not not working means so you can remap the right key function to the left key like that so like that for any words so if uh, so for some of the keys of so any words keys is not working means you can remap that particular keys to the some other section so like f1 f2 f3 like that so like that you can able to remap any keys in your laptop if in case some of your keys has become a hardware related issue means so this option will be really helpful for you in case if you are not currently able to use any of the key and in case if you are not willing to proceed for a hardware related issue means or if you are not not able to use a service center means and in case some of the urgent work means so you can use this method you can continue your work without any obstacles well guys now that's all about this video now and hopefully if you guys like this video hit the like button and if you guys like to watch my upcoming videos hit the subscribe button below and thanks for watching this video guys